Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, I just wanted to chat with you guys about me, Coco. How did I get the name Coco? Where I'm from, just a few things about me. Why I started a YouTube channel and why I started styling. Okay, so first, I'm Coco and my real name is Sanaya, okay? Most of my friends call me Coco though, but I grew up being called Sanaya. <laughs> also, I'm from New York City, born and raised there. It's just something that is a part of me. Wherever I go, I'm always gonna be a New Yorker till the day I die, guys. You guys already know I am six feet tall. I'm a tall woman. Um, my parents are, well, my mom was American and my dad is from the island, Jamaica. So that's a little background there. Let's see what else. I also moved to Georgia in 2013. I've been wanting to move out of New York City, just took some time to do it. Um, I just wanted a different pace in things. You guys know New York is like super, 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 uber expensive. So, um, but it didn't seem that expensive to me until I got here. Also, let me see what else. So that's my New York run. Went to school there, worked there my whole life. Um, got into corporate America very, very young. My first job was in Chase Bank <laughs> and you guys know working in a bank and in financial, the financial industry, it's very formal. So just imagine a high schooler working in the bank. Well, it wasn't in an actual bank, it was in the corporate side of the, of the bank, right? But it was very, very formal. Um, and then I also worked in planning very young. So <laughs> that's how I started. Now, how I got into styling. So, work okay my mom was very stylish she always looked nice um and i think i've mentioned this before on my channel my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and some years ago and then she kind of waited and stuff um she always put other people first but she ended up passing away so this is another reason why i am vegan i just choose not to eat a lot of the stuff that my mom ate, my grandmother ate, so I decided to like do the whole switcheroo. But she always looked good and she always told me, make sure you look good wherever you go, regardless of where you're going. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have on makeup, but you have to look presentable, right? Because people are always judging. So working in an office as a young adult, I noticed some things. <laughs> and it seemed like it was a lot easier for me to kind of dive right in with, you know, just in a certain way, just to kind of like fit in at first. Um, but I did have some colleagues of mine that had trouble. And we were all around the same age. And then there was women, and there were women who were older, who've been at the company for a really, really long time, and they struggled. So, sorry, I'm just sitting. <laughs> so they struggled a lot, um, but I remember them, they used to always ask me questions, you know, how do I style things? and you know, where do I find these things? One thing about me, I'm super good at finding something online. In-store shopping is cool, but I always feel like you can find so much more online. So, my first, I guess you could say client, because back then I didn't know it was a client. <laughs> she was just my friend, and she wanted me to help her change her style. She was at the company for a really long time, and she hadn't moved up. And um, she kind of watched people that she started with move up and she didn't really know why, but it was her image. She was kind of wearing outdated clothes and stuff, things that really didn't fit her. And it looked like she really didn't care how she looked when she got into the office. So I started back then, but I didn't take it serious because I didn't know if it was like a career in it or it was real money in it until 2017 where I launched my boutique and I launched my styling services and <laughs> I launched some interior interior design services. But the styling services, I guess I didn't really have a good setup for it like I do now, just knowing the business side. The styling part was easy. I could always make something look good. I could always make a person feel good, whatever it is that they have on. And 
all that stuff. So it was the business side. So what I did was I had to invest in myself, hire like a coach to help me through the business side of it, right? Because that's the hardest part. A lot of people end up losing money in the long run or owing money because they don't really know how to handle the business side of their company. So that's the other part of it. So I did get into it just from working in corporate America and this is why I chose to work with those types of women. Uh, it, not, it doesn't mean that I won't work with a celebrity, but I would prefer someone on film opposed to someone in music. I just feel like I would connect a little bit better. <laughs> um, and it may be less drama. Who knows, let me not say that. But that is why I got into it. And so what I wanna do now is, I wanna work with women who really want to stand out in their jobs, um, get the job they've always wanted, and start showing up like a boss. <laughs> so I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick little story about me and what I do and why I do it and let you guys into my world just a little bit. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and my website CocoStylesNY.com and my blog CocoStylesNYC.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.